The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and here's an all-new boat by Beneteau, the Flyer Gran Turismo 44. Let's do a full features walkthrough. The swim platform goes full beam and at its narrowest comes out two feet, nine inches. Notice how the cleats are on the outside away from the trip zone. Mounts on the starboard side for the reboarding ladder. And there's a large sun pad going across, measures seven feet, three inches. Underneath, there's tender storage. Let's take a look. The tender garage is very easy to access once you step off the swim platform. Two feet, three inches of height so you've got plenty of room inside, rollers easily deploy, and there's a winch inside. Obviously, we're in boat show mode storing the life jackets, but you can clearly see that underneath, we also have easy access to the twin Volvo Penta D6 370 horsepower engines. At the steps leading up to the side deck, you've got your two electrical connections for the ship's power and the air conditioning. Here's an optional feature on the steps on the starboard side, a reverse angle camera. And in the middle of the step is your passerelle, another optional feature. We also have your hot and cold transom shower. The gate is a lift, opens inward, and in the closed position, I'd like to see a latch that can drop down into the teak deck to hold it in position. Notice how the swim platform and the steps, the cockpit deck, and the steps leading up to the side decks are all covered in teak. The deck, again, all non-skid, very solid. There's no flexing, no giving, no oil canning. And it's nice to see that these rails go way back until the point where you're getting back into the cockpit. On a nine inch high platform above the cockpit deck, we've got C-shaped seating. The aft seat back flips forward to give you a nice reclining onto the sun pad. There's storage underneath the seats. Now here's a feature that I'm always happy with on Beneteau. They always get the position of the lights right. As soon as you enter a room, as soon as you enter a space, there are light switches so you don't have to walk into a dark compartment. Down below, we've got very good sized storage for safety gear. And in the deck, access to the forward part of the engine room. Moving forward, just to starboard, we have an entertainment center with an optional electric grill, a stainless sink, down below, an ice maker and refrigerator. Forward of the dinette, underneath the seats, we have very deep storage, I would say deep enough for a carry-on cooler. And there's even more storage over on the port hand side. Let's take a look at the features down below. The galley is separated from the main salon by a panel housing the TV, entertainment center and climate control seven feet of overhead clearance. Behind a wood door, refrigerator freezer, plenty of counter space, plus a two burner electric stove with adjustable C rails and a double basin stainless steel sink. The settee is cozy and has book storage above with a nice nautical flair to it with deep wood features. Just behind is a privacy door leading to the aft stateroom. This stateroom has some great features. The entrance has high headroom due to the fact that there's no lounge overhead at the helm deck cutting into this overhead, so I actually have standing height ahead of the berth. The island berth allows entry from either side, and it's also easier to change the sheets. To port, we have a lounger with a great view out the hull side windows, and to starboard is a bench seat. We also have an ensuite head with a separate walk-in shower. Now let's take a look at the forward cabin. With an island queen accessible from both sides, storage to either side, large Hull side windows with opening port lights and another overhead hatch for ventilation and emergency egress. Overall, it seems that this Flyer Gran Turismo 44 represents some of the most clever and efficient uses of space I've seen in class. Between the full beam master, brilliant accommodations for natural light, and well laid out cockpit with storage access that doesn't require moving your guests from their seats, I'd say that the design team at Beneteau was really on their game when they designed this boat. Well, that's our features walkthrough of Beneteau's all new Flyer Gran Turismo 44. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.